We have Mike Jollins from the ANU College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences. And the title of Mike's talk tonight is Colognes, Crowds and Cooking Crystals. You are on a bus and someone gets on wearing overpowering cologne. At first, you don't realise, but a few seconds later, you do. Tiny particles of perfume have made their way through the air, randomly moving and have stimulated your nose. Now, perhaps this smell is a particularly musky, manly, Brad Pitt-type smell, and you want to know who's wearing it and how you can get some for yourself. Well, you know when the last bus stop was. That gives you the time since the person entered, and you know how fast perfume travels through the air. Experiments can tell you that. So you can work out, just using simple mathematics, how far away that handsome, rugged-smelling man is from you. <laughs> but it's not so simple. The hotter the air, the faster the perfume travels. So on a cold Canberra winter morning, the smell will move more slowly than a hot, sticky Darwin day. This all has to be taken into account. But I'm a geologist, a man of stone. Don't <laughs> complain to me about a hot bus or a one-hour journey. Come back when your bus has melted at 1,000 degrees and you've been waiting for 100 million years. I don't care about things like the air. I want to know what happens in solid rocks. The movement or diffusion of atoms through crystals in their solid state. That is, the process of solid state diffusion. This is fundamental in deep earth geology and yet we know next to nothing about it. This can happen in solid rocks at high temperatures over 1,000 degrees or so. Atoms in crystals start to move around. 1,000 degrees seems hot, but this is just a temperature inside a volcano or even one of the ovens at the School of Geology. I have taken different crystals, attached them together, heated them up to extreme temperatures, and I have seen atoms flow from one into the other. I track this movement with powerful lasers and tiny x-rays, and I learn how, why, and how fast it happens. In the real world, a crystal falls into a magma chamber below a volcano, and just like my experiments, atoms flow from the magma into the crystal before the volcano erupts. Just like the perfume, I can then work out when the crystal entered, how long its journey was, and just how hot it was down there. Now, my journey started on a bus, but I missed my stop and ended up deep inside the earth. I never did learn how to smell like Brad Pitt. My friends will tell you that. But taking a step towards understanding a fundamental process in nature is not bad for the price of a single ticket. <laughs>